It feels like I just woke up this morning and I was fat again. I don't understand how that happens. How do I go from being skinny to being fat? How do I go from being a size 10 to a size 16 without even knowing what happened? to me many times over 25 years of yo-yo dieting. I'd lose the weight and sometimes I kept it off for quite a long time, like a few years. And then um, something would happen and I would just, it was like an avalanche of fat would come back into my life. I don't know how it happened. I didn't understand what was happening. I didn't understand how to stop it or control it. The problem is that stress drives our eating behaviors and when life is going along okay, we can, that's when we do really well on a diet. That's when we do really well at changing our eating patterns and behaviors because life is going along okay. We are not in that pressure cooker of stress. Then when life comes with its pressure cooker of stress, as it always does, something happens. Either it's a 50 little things that just pile up and you hit critical mass or sometimes it's a big thing that comes in. Somebody dies, you lose the job, you have a baby, move house. There's a million things that happen to us as humans that tip us over the edge, that puts us at um, what they call tipping point. All of a sudden, all those eating patterns and behaviours that you had been able to manage, modulate and kind of balance out with exercise come humbling in and you find yourself back where you began. It's bewildering, it's humiliating, it is embarrassing, and it is, and it is despairing. It's because we don't have a process for processing our emotions, and then our emotions get the better of us. It drives our stress, and that's what drives our eating patterns and behaviors. We need to get a handle on what's happening unconsciously for us to be able to maintain good, healthy weight without this up and down yo-yo diet. What you need to be able to do is create emotional stability no matter what's happening in your life. You've got to know what your emotions are. You need to be able to understand them to be able to process them to be able to express them in healthy, helpful ways. Until you're able to do that, your unconscious eating patterns will continue to arise. It is only when you can build a bridge between your unconscious and your conscious mind that you can take control of your eating habits, patterns and behaviours. If you're ready to step into your most extraordinary life, click on the subscribe button. I'm Katie Gordon, I'm Dietless Living.